Gareth is missing on the mountains in the store. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We'd better take Saturn. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Fire Captain Steele, how's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pastry? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Ooh, that, I, uh, <laughs> well, I forgot. Uh, sorry, Dillis. Oh, no, but the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. 
Um, Quidlington, I need you in the kitchen immediately. Sorry, Fire Captain Steel. I'm playing at the Fishy Fun Day. Don't want to let my fans down. But I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Uh, huh, no, huh, huh, I'm seeing double. He's not me, sir. He's my cousin. I'm Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Cridlington. Another Cridlington? Oh. oh, you should ask Jerry Lee. He's an even better cook than me. Ta-da! One passion fruit and pecan puff pastry. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Awesome! Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh, oh no! turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Blood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. Just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what's that? It's all right, James. Nearly there. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Chasey and looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crush. Oh, I can't do it. Oh. It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top-notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. Supposed to hit the boxes. 
Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. With that fog, it's gonna be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What I give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. An engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Yes! Beauties! You found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be up there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <gasps> the door's blocked. Too many boxes. I'll need to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything. Ah! Ooh! 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 I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and, and Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger Roger that. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Mom! Don't worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, 
we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air, 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. <laughs> What happened there? We are really sorry, Fireman Sam. We won't do any dangerous treasure hunting ever again. I'm glad to hear it. Still, it really is a shame that treasure is lost forever. Lost forever, Penny? <clears throat> Today is Ponty Pandy Pete Day. But sadly, the treasure of Ponty Pandy Pete has been lost. It wasn't my fault. But at least someone's going to be playing the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. <laughs> Aren't they, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, I have, of course, been thinking long and hard about this one. And I, uh, um, well, <laughs> great tangled hoses. What was that? Arr, sir! Did you be wanting to see that treasure? Penny must have dove down and found it! <laughs> well, well done, Firefighter Morris. <laughs> I think you might have found your Ponty Pandy Pete, sir. I have indeed. Ponty Pandy Penny! Arr! There you go. I say. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. 